quickly, then we're going to get out of here. Four games in the Southern Conference we're going to pick from. We're going to start, John, with the one in Chattanooga. Wofford heading to take on the Mocs. The Mocs lost their one game to Western Kentucky back in the fall. This will be their first first game in the spring season. Wofford a big win last week. Can Chattanooga find a way to win their opener? No. Yeah. Um, going cool. Wofford on the road. I I don't think it'll be like a blowout or anything. I I think it'll be a pr- pretty good football game. I just I just think Wofford's better. I don't, um, I don't know, man. I I really don't. Wow, you're gonna go chat here, huh? No, 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 I no. I'm picking, no, I'm picking Wofford. Oh, but you you think you think, but I think, think, but I, think but I think Wofford wins by two or three scores. Like I don't think it's wow. yeah, I don't think it's close. Any mocks people watching? Now, you might want to <laughs> yeah. put that on your locker. Barstool, Barstool He's Chat Cameron Chat. Terrence. Send Bar- direct all your mail to Barstool wherever Chat you can find. God, where you at? Come on. No, I really don't. I, Where's I don't. Bob Mulkey at when Look, you need there's too, there's too much turmoil around that program right now. And I think Wofford with the win. Who has more turmoil? The Citadel in the fall or Chattanooga right now? Hmm. It's a tough question, right? I'm going to go Chattanooga now because it also involves their head coach. You didn't really hear any. You didn't really right. hear from the head coach, Dan. Uh, does it does it send a bad message to his players that he doesn't want to play? Like he's raining on their parade. I yeah. feel like I think that's not the right message for unless, coaches to be sending he, right now. Unless he is voicing opinions from the within the locker room, but if that's the case, then it's just going to be a bad year altogether. If those guys don't want to play, <laughs> I mean, yeah, I mean, if the players don't want to play, because I don't really know. I assume that all players want to play because I, I just see the Furman yeah. guys, and they're they're all excited. Yeah. They're just blessed to have you know. They say no, yeah, you know, genuine, you know, like. I assume that's the case at Western Carolina, at Mercer, you know, everywhere. I don't assume that there's anyone that's been off for four and something days and don't want to play. Doesn't want to play. I mean, that just seems bizarre to me. Did they want to play football in the first place, if that's the case? Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. I I mean, we're going to agree that Wofford's going to win, but we're going to disagree by how much I think Wofford wins pretty handily. All right. Interesting. How many points get scored, John, between Western Carolina and Samford? Well, these two teams have had some doozies in the past. (laughs) And uh, I want you, right quick, if you can, pull up the series record there between Western and Samford. I'm pretty sure. I don't have a media guide in front of me. I'm pretty sure Samford's only lost like two games in that series. Or one, maybe. Um, I might be right by saying that. And the, the, one of those losses came back, like, I think it was 2015 or six, 14 or 15. It was, I think it was 15, where it was a 38-35 game. Um, very good game. And uh, Western comes from behind to win that one. They haven't won all too often in in this particular series for whatever reason. Um, and some of the games have just been like, there's one game in there. I swear it was like 70 to 35 or something or 7 to 31, like maybe two years ago. It was Devlin Hodges' senior year, so that would have been 2017 maybe, 18, 17, 18, somewhere around there. It was – I mean, it was bad. That was one of several games where he threw for like 600 yards. Yeah, I was, I'm pulling up the media guide here. I was going to see if I could – if uh, I can find it. it, yeah, it's it should be. Well, I was gonna say it could be on their game notes, but anyway, like they usually list the uh, all time series, but it's no big deal. But it's crazy because Samford has won like I want to say like maybe they've played like fifteen times, and Samford's probably won thirteen of them. I'm guessing. And the and the weird thing about it is the basketball. Series between the two is, is very similar. Yeah. So you're taking like Samford has dominated in the two major sports against Western yeah. Carolina. So 
So you're taking the Bulldogs? Yes. Yeah. I it's agree. 55-42. That's what I'm going with. Yeah, I did uh, I did not like what I saw. I mean, look, again, they played Furman. You know, that I didn't expect them to do much. Again, my is 42 points. That's a lot of points. So, <laughs> yeah. I mean, even as bad as Sanford's defense can be, <laughs> yes. uh, no, I, I'm probably not going to go for it. I sort of see something in the realm of 45 28. Yeah, that, that's more reasonable. Yeah, I'd probably more along those lines. Yeah. 45 28 Sanford. I like that's that. more reasonable. Yeah. All right. All right. The hometown Paladins here, John, going up to Lexington, taking on VMI. Kedats tied for fourth in the SOCON last year with the five and seven overall record. Furman putting up 530 yards of total offense on Western Carolina last week, 320 of that on the ground. What do you what do you think happens Saturday up in Lexington? Well, I mean, I think what's probably happened like twenty seven out of the last twenty eight times they played, <laughs> Furman is probably going to win. Um, yeah, but I, I, I will say, I mean, it's not it's not like it used to be in that series, um, where I mean, it was like I don't think I think Furman's a couple scores better on the road. I'm not sure they, I mean, the line on that game is, I think, 21 points. 21. But I'd say somewhere around there, 17, 21 points. Uh, but I don't think, it's not like when Furman used to beat them like 62 to 7 or like, you know, I mean, VMI was bad. I mean, they there was one year they didn't even score like 200 points the whole year. Like, so, um, so I'm going to go Furman somewhere in the neighborhood of, I think, 40 to 17. Seems. Because okay. okay. I think VMI will score. I mean, I, like, I just, I just don't think it'll be very much. Yeah, I like Furman. I'm actually going to say they're going to cover. Not by much. I think they, I think three touchdowns is, is good. Three maybe three and a half, 24 points, something like that. But I think they do cover. Um, I don't think they hang 60 like they did last year. <laughs> but I, I, I know. But maybe, God, 40, you know what? Maybe, you look at maybe 42, 21. Furman's like next two matchups, they could actually put up some huge offense. I mean, I'm not saying that they will, but like if you look at VMI and Sanford. Yeah. <laughs> Like ETSU is going to – and then they play ETSU, which is really interesting yeah. to see how they'll break. Because I think ETSU always has one of the best defenses because of their coordinator. And they played – I mean, uh, they were one of the few teams defensively that last really, year. really – yeah. That had Furman's number. But, yeah, I'm going to go Furman. We're both going to go Furman uh, on the road. And then final one, John, it's the Citadel making their spring debut when 0-4 in the fall – they travel to Macon, Mercer, a uh, a tough loss against Wofford, but I do think they're a little bit better than they were last year. Uh, Ward on the defensive side, one of the best players for that Mercer defense, had a, had a pretty nice day against Wofford. Note right here, John, the Citadel had a minus ninety eight point margin in the fall. Wow, that's steep. Um, <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> that's what getting playing Clemson, South Florida, and uh, and Ar well, I mean, they kept it close against Army. Eastern the bizarre Kentucky. one is Eastern Kentucky, like yeah. they beat them as bad as anybody, yeah, destroyed them in their only home game, yeah. That's one of those days you don't want to be AD if you're at the Citadel. <laughs> yeah. Like, my, I think his name's Mike Capaccio, it's probably not a good day for him, not that happy day. with that one. As no. bad as they played this fall, I'm going to take the Citadel. I don't know what's tougher to figure out how a, somebody's going to win the Southern Conference in basketball or telling you who's going to win this game. <laughs> <laughs> um, but like you, I'm going to go reluctantly so. Well, no, wait. 
Mercer's tough to beat at home in anything. I'm gonna go Mer- I'm gonna go Mercer and upset. How about that? I like it. Hey, that? we uh, we haven't disagreed on many. Because uh, Drew Chronic, you know, I gotta I gotta give my former F- Furman coach a vote of confidence. Yeah, still a little bit of that Furman Siddle rivalry. I'm gonna go the old Furman ties there. Mm-hmm.